Hello everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate the usage of Linux combined with a serial terminal connection to an Apple IIe to communicate with the Discord API from this 80s computer. So first we're going to boot up Linux. I've already set it up, so I have a systemd configuration that will open a serial getty on this terminal. Um, I just need to make sure I'm in the right mode for v220 emulation so let's do that real quick oh there we go so now that we're on the boot screen here it loads it over here simultaneously I'm gonna log in real quick um, let me hide my password because I don't want you guys to know what my password is sorry there we go now we're logged in this is completely unnecessary now we can ignore this because all we really need is the command line connection which is currently open we have a command line interface running on this apple um, this is used through the modem manager uh, program designed in the 80s for this computer and I also have a serial connection. This is a DB9 to DB25. This is the one that actually plugs into the super serial card on here running at 19... 192 baud. Uh, so it's 19,200 baud. Um, and then this cable is a DB9 RS-232 to USB serial converter which is plugged into the computer. So anything I can do on the command line on the Linux computer, I can now do from here. As long as it's basic ASCII characters, it can render here. Um, and so, with that, I can load up IRSSI, which is an IRC Internet Relay Chat um, client. And the reason why we're going to use this is because there's already a program built as a server, a bridge server, between the Discord API and an IRC client. It just run it it starts an IRC server which connects to a bot which logs into your Discord account and relays all the information from Discord to the IRC server. So we're just going to connect to that. I already have it configured to run on a certain IP address, um, local local IP on the on the machine. So it's only running on the machine. I don't have to connect to the internet yet. Biddleby is the only thing that connects to the internet for me. So now I'm in. I'm in the control channel, which is ampersand Biddleby. I'm going to identify as the account that I have set up to run the, the Discord plugin. Um, Biddleby does not come with Discord stock. Um, you have to, it's, it's a separate plugin. Um, I'll, I'll leave links in the description for everything you need to install and download. But I'm going to identify Discord. Okay, that's working. And now I'm going to join a specific channel. I'm going to join the, uh, what should I do? Styropyro General, I think. Um, ignore this. I'm not sure why it does that but everything still works regardless. Um, anyways, I'm going to join the general channel for the Styropyro Discord. See if it's working. Ah, I spelled Styro wrong. I seem to do that frequently, my bad. Styro general, there we go, now it's working. Now we see all the accounts that are on Discord connected to that channel. And now we have a bit of a backlog. This is all the information, all the different messages that have been sent in the past. Um, I don't know how far the backlog goes. I, probably just an hour, I would assume. Um, let's see. Let's just see if we can clear this. I, th I believe the code is reset. No, reload, I think. Yeah. Uh, every once in a while, because this is a serial connection, there is some random artifacts that'll happen. Um, just minor minor glitch, graphical glitches which don't influence um, the display too much but just a little bit um, something to note uh, GIFs 
videos, anything like that, anything that can't render in ASCII, it'll be um, a link to that media file. Um, images, uh, it'll send, a, it'll show the link to the media file, so you can't really view it. Um, here's an example right here. We see .gif. Um, and emojis will get corrupted. It'll it'll show either. Um, I I think I think it, I think it shows in the colon the name of the emoji and then colon. It's non ASCII characters that are accepted by Unicode but aren't considered part of ASCII. They'll render strangely. It'll be like a, like a slash b or random garbled ASCII characters. Um, now I'm gonna log in on the actual computer. just so I can show you guys um, what Discord looks like when we're connected to the same channel. So now let's load it up. Let's load up Discord. We're getting information. We're getting messages on here. Um, man, it wants me to update. Fine. I'll pause this. Okay, we're back. I've got Discord open. Uh, let me zoom in just so it's easier to see on camera. Um, so we see this message, Keep Yourself Safe by Hayden, and we can see it on here as well. Um, we can also see that Binary Nexus has also joined. Um, and if, you, if, if this shows that they joined, that also means that they have come online on Discord. Um, let's see if I can find them. Uh, yep, right here. Oh, wrong button. There they are, they're online. Alright, now let's say... Something. Oh, Firefox is also come online. Anyways, let's try and send something from the computer. This is the normal Discord interface. I'm just going to say uh, test from PC. Oops, I accidentally pressed enter. Uh, this is actually something I wanted to test. I wanted to see what happens if I edit a message. Okay, it resends it. If, if I edit the message, it resends it on here. So, we see test from, test from PC. Okay. There it is. We see it on the apple. And now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do test from apple to e. So I'm going to show this so it, you, you can see that it'll pop up at the exact same time. And there it is. Test from apple to e. It's really cool. <laughs> you obviously can't join a... You can't join voice calls on, on, on this Apple. Uh, that would be really funny. Maybe maybe I'll figure out some kind of rudimentary audio streaming system. Um, I don't know. <laughs> It'd be funny. But anyways, so yeah, it's working. I can use Discord from this computer from 1982. 80s computer running Discord, the chat service for gamers. Um, now, actually setting up channels on here is a little bit difficult. Uh, I don't like to do it from the actual Apple because it's really annoying. Um, something that is noticeable on this Apple uh, that you don't get in a normal command line is everything shows up instantaneously. But because the Apple is a serial terminal, it's running at 19,200 baud, so that's 1,000, that's, yeah, so that's 19,200 bits per second, which is very, very slow. Uh, actually, it might be bytes per second. I don't remember. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, it's very slow. If if you have a long stream of text that shows up, it'll be really fast on this computer. But on here, it'll just start scrolling so slowly, and it's really, really annoying. So that's why when I open up the chat list to configure the, the channels, um, I like to do it on here. So I'm going to leave... The Apple, so I know it still shows it on here. I just need to clear, um, and we're back. Uh, in fact, let's do a little Neo fetch because why not? Linux Mint. Anyways, I like to do it from here. I like to go to the exact same thing. I'm just this is the same command line. I can do Neo fetch right here. It's the same thing. Uh, oh yeah, colored text does not appear on here. Just Another note. Um, let's try irssi slash connect b i oops identify discord and let's.
let's do chat list discord it's gonna take a second all right now it's just fetched all of the channels that i am in all the channels from every single server i am in I'm in a lot of servers, so this might take a second, <laughs> but I'm going to go and go through this, and I'm going to try and find, uh, oh yeah, in order to do scroll back, you just got to do go to minus 50, and you can you can go backwards. Uh, you can do the same thing on here, it's just really slow. Anyways, I'm going to go find a channel, and I'm going to get back to you. Okay, we're back. Um, I've found a channel. I'm going to try and get to this channel which is the nuclear bomb testing facility media channel um, so in order to do that we have this command right here um, chat add discord which is the name of the account um, and I'm gonna do exclamation point and then there's this little code 87 that's the channel code I'm gonna do 87 um, let's see we're gonna. We're just gonna name it NBTF Media, and that should work. Let's go to end chat room successfully added. Join with slash join hashtag NBTF Media. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna do slash join. Hashtag, actually, no, we're not going to do it from here. We're going to do it from the Apple. Because now we've already done the setup. Now we just need to load it up on here. IRSSI slash connect B. Let me lower the uh, contrast so it's easier to show up on camera. There. Uh, identify... Discord, and then slash join, hashtag NPTF dash media. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We are in. Let's load it up on Discord. Should be right about here. Okay. Test. And let's see. There it is. It works. If you have any more questions, uh, leave a comment. Um, I'll try to put all the resources I used in order to get this set up um, in the description, but I might forget. If I forget, remind me in the comments. I'll add it later. Thank you.